Hi everyone, so today is the 19th of December, so only five more days until Christmas? That's crazy. So I first want to say happy holidays to everyone just because I will be doing the video right after Christmas, the day after Christmas. So I just want to say well, if you guys travel, then stay safe and yeah, just enjoy Christmas because that's my favorite season. So yeah, this week's theme is pros and cons of owning the animal you have. And so I'm doing pros and cons of a hamster, of owning a hamster. And there are so many pros. I could think of so many pros. And I didn't think of a couple cons. So I'm going to go get Benji and we'll get right into it. Okay, so I'm going to get started with the pros. The first pro I have is that they can be very affectionate towards their owner once like you tame them and you get to know them and you've had them for a while they will really start to get to know you and they are so intelligent in my opinion and that's another pro that they can be litter trained and they can be trained in general they can be trained tricks and they can be trained to go in a litter tray thing and yeah they're just so sweet and affectionate once you tame them the next pro is that they are more affordable than pretty much any other animal um as just be sure to give them the right care and things that they need and you will be fine the next pro i have is that they can be they're pretty mellow and pretty easy creatures to take care of besides the daily getting them out and playing with them for at least 15 minutes and then uh, spot cleaning their cage and doing all that fun stuff. The next pro I have is that they give you company and it's someone to talk to. I mean I, I tell Benji my like life story and everything I do in a day just so they can get used to your voice and everything is so adorable and so fun. The next pro I have is that they are fun to watch they are so fun to watch. I like cannot keep my eyes off of Benji when he's playing just because he's so cute and I love seeing how he reacts to things. It's just adorable. The next pro I have is that they pretty much require not a lot of space, just the 360 square inches of floor space or more in their cage and the daily getting out and playing with them. So they do not take up a lot of space. The next pro I have is that they come in a variety of colors and fur types. That way you, you can choose what goes with your personality and what fits you, who fits you best. I think that is such a pro. The next pro I have is that you will never get bored of them. They are so curious and as long as you give them something to do they will not get bored either so you guys will have a great life together if you treat him right the next pro I have is that you can tr has to de deal with the training and that is that you can train them that is awesome I love it the next pro I have is that they are so adorable and so sweet and they just give me something to do. So now on to the cons. The first con I have is that they require a lot of time and patience in order to uh, tame them. In the beginning, you won't really see much of them. They'll probably be a little skittish, which is another con. You might get a skittish hamster, so yeah. And the next con is you might get a hamster with a bad personality. Like, they may bite or something. Benji does not do any of these things, so I'm very blessed and lucky for that. The next con I have is that they have a very short lifespan, uh, ranging from about two to three years, depending on the hamster that you have. The longest living hamster, I believe, is like seven, but yeah. The next con I have is that they are nocturnal, and some believe that they are crest peculiar. I don't know how to say that, but yeah. That means that they they wake up from dawn to dusk and then they wake up every two to three hours to get a drink and stuff. 
Uh, so that you will kind of see them, but that is a downside because you won't get to see them with their, like, with your schedule. They all have their own schedule. The next con I have is that depending on the hamster that you have, uh, he may pee on you or he may bite you. He may be skittish. And for Benji, that is not the case, but some hamsters do. They were raised wrong and they have raised to hate humans or whatever. So that is definitely a con. The next con I have is that you have to clean the cage weekly. I mean, I don't think it's that bad, but it is kind of a hassle. So, yeah. And the last thing that I have is a pro and a con, I suppose, is that they all have different personalities. You will never get the one that is exactly the same. And I just think that, I think that's a pro, but it can be a con too, because you could get a bad hamster. So, yeah, those were all the pros and the cons I could think of. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I influenced your decision of hamsters. I don't know. Thank you so much for watching.